Well, Maurice and Christine, this is the first time this type of weapon has been used in battle. Officials said the target was an ISIS cave and tunnel complex. We have the greatest military in the world, and they've done a job as usual. So we have given them total authorization, and that's what they're doing. And frankly, that's why they've been so successful lately. President Trump discussing the use of the largest non-nuclear bomb the U.S. has ever dropped, the MOAB, or mother of all bombs, shown here in file tape. If you look at what's happened over the last eight weeks and compare that really to what's happened over the last eight years, you'll see there's a tremendous difference. The White House says the weapon was used to battle ISIS. The 11-ton bomb was dropped on ISIS forces in Nangarhar province in the eastern region of Afghanistan near the Pakistani border. We targeted a system of tunnels and caves that ISIS fighters used uh, to move around freely, making it easier for them to target U.S. military advisors and Afghan forces in the area. Spokesman Sean Spicer says the U.S. took all precautions to reduce collateral damage in the operation. The United States takes the fight against ISIS very seriously, and in order to defeat the group, we must deny them operational space, which we did. The bomb is officially called the Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, but because of the MOAB abbreviation and its massive size, it's picked up the nickname Mother of All Bombs. It hones in on its target designed to bunker deep inside of its target to make sure it's destroying not things on the surface, but things well under the surface. Former U.S. Army Major Mike Lyons says the use of the bomb against ISIS means the U.S. means business in the war on terror. When you can't target it with regular conventional munitions and you can't target it with infantry soldiers, you use this kind of weapon system that destroys virtually you know, five square miles without recourse, with considerable collateral damage. Now, the extent of the damage and whether anyone was killed is not yet clear. The military is currently conducting an assessment. The Pentagon is reviewing whether to deploy additional trainers to Afghanistan to help bolster U.S. allies there. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS2 News.